One obvious question is what happens to the two out of a hundred women who take Ella who then go on to become pregnant? Here, their babies have been exposed to Ella and there have been no studies done on the effect of Ella on pregnancy. What we do know is that at least one woman has had a child who's had an optic nerve dysplasia, which means that the nerve from the eye to the brain it was abnormally developed. But we don't know what happens in the 2%, that's two out of every 100 women who take this drug, who have babies now exposed to this drug. It's a concern because when you destroy the placenta, which is what Ella does, when you destroy the placenta, then you destroy the thing that helps to feed and nourish the baby. So if the baby is deprived of food and nourishment early on in the pregnancy, then it's very likely that there will be some, some damage or some harm to the baby. But unlike any other drug that is used in women who can have children, this drug was never studied for what happens to the children. This again is dishonest and a violation of what's called ICH-GCP guidelines, which is the agreed upon international guidelines for uses of medications in women of childbearing potential. Another concern is that Ella does cross into breast milk. So if women take Ella while they're breastfeeding, then this drug can also get into their baby. And again, no studies have been done on the effects of Ella in babies.